Hi. My name is Samantha Rowan, and I'm working on a series of books called Living Little Women. It's a coming-of-age novel about a girl named Sarah Conrad who grows up guided by the values in Little Women. The school that Sarah goes to is a Quaker boarding school, and today I'm going to talk to you about why I decided to send Sarah to a Quaker school. Quakerism is a type of Protestantism, and it's like other forms of Christianity. Quakers celebrate Christmas and meet every week. But Quakerism is a little different because um, there are no ministers or sermons at their meetings. If a person has something to say, they just stand up and say it, and the other people are there to listen, think about what they said, and support that person. When Sarah goes away to school, she doesn't know what to expect. Because most readers aren't familiar with Quakerism, they don't know what to expect either. I thought that this would help people to identify with Sarah. Also, I went to a Quaker school and it left a very big impression on me. A lot of people think that charity um, is something that's just for rich people, but actually um, it's something that Quakers have always lived. In my school, for example, there was a program with the city of Philadelphia where homeless people would sleep in our school and use our bathrooms. Um, that's the kind of spirit that I thought was a good backdrop for the kind of school that Sarah w was going to be going to, especially when you think about all the tension that rises between the characters throughout the book. The most, obvious, the most obvious example of the tension is in Sarah's relationship with her roommate, Marnie. Marnie's pretty easy to dislike. She's rude. She's childish. She likes to blame other people for her problems. Um, most kids would simply ignore her. But the Quaker ideals of finding the inner light within somebody really appear, appeal to Sarah and help her to motivate herself to help Marnie to get through what's essentially a pretty tough situation. Afterwards, Sarah, Sarah learns to realize that there's some things in Marnie that are pretty great. Not very. Uh, while it's part of the setting and one of the themes, my books aren't about religion. The main driver is in the name of the series. It's about how a young girl who's come can live her life according to the principles in Little Women.